Hi, this is Raphael from Hypermode. So today we will see how to transform a set of CSV files into a graph and upload the data into DGraph. Often your data is stored in tables or CSV files, but you want to organize it as a graph and load it into a graph database like DGraph. So we'll go through how to do that using a data set from donorchoose.org available on Kaggle. So this data set includes CSV files with information about schools, projects, donors, donations, and each columns as the data that you would like to get into the graph. The goal is to organize this data into a graph where donors make donation to projects, projects are created by schools, schools are located in cities, within states. So we'll use a Python script shared in the DGraph experimental GitHub repository to map CSV data to RDF triple. The main idea is to create a mapping between CSV data and RDF, so triples in RDF format. But for each column into a CSV file, you can ask yourself if you need to create a node, if you need to add a property to the node, or if you need to create a relationship or a combination of the above. So for example, in project CSV, um, we have a project ID, a school ID, a title, and a category. What it means is that I want to create a project node, I want to create a school node, I want to create a relationship between both, I want to add a title to the project, and I also want to create a node for the category math and science and create a relationship between the project and the category. So I would translate when you see the project ID. In fact, what you want to do is a triple with a new node and the DGraph type project. So we know that this node is project now, and we can add another triple with the project ID and the value of this uh, column. So we are using a template here. So everything in bracket will be replaced by the value of the corresponding column. When I see school ID, I want to create a school node, and I want to create a new relation from the project to the school. And so you see, for example, the title is a simple addition of uh, an attribute. And for the category is the addition of a category node with a value. So let's do the same, for example, for school CSV. You see that this file has additional data for the school. So we can create additional uh, triples. But the point is that, for example, the state will be related to the school, but the school has been related to the project from the prior uh, file. So we can here handle a bunch of CSV files and create a complete graph of the data. For example, the complete template for the project is few lines describing the different triples we can create from each line in the project. So let's see how it is used in this sample provided in the GitHub repository. I have started a local DGraph instance, which is empty. And we can see, for example, we can count the number of nodes per type. We have only one node, which is an internal DGraph uh, node. In the DGraph experimental repository, you will find data imports, CSV to RDF, and we have a sample folder with an extract of the CSV file. So for example, if you consider uh, the, the project, you will see all the columns for project, and you will see the corresponding template that will be used to convert the CSV into triples. The same for the schools and for the donors and the donation. You can see, for example, in the schools template, we are using a function that will translate the longitude and latitude columns into a geoloc geolocation value for DGraph. So with the template in place for each CSV, we can now run this script, um, CSV to RDF, so it will um, use all the CSV into a folder and create RDF. So you can double check the RDF creation. 
more interestingly, you can uh, directly upload this data to GGraph. So we can upload CSV from the sample and we can optionally provide a schema. So in our case, the schema describes the different predicates that we want in DGraph with the type and the corresponding uh, indexes. Okay, so the data has been loaded directly from the CSV, translated into RDF and mutated into DGraph. We can check that we have now, you know, few donations, few donors and project. So now we have some data. We can query the graph. So for example, to query some project. And we'll see all the relation from the school to the different project, which has a category. And those are the donations. So using a template to translate the CSV to triples is a very effective way to convert a bunch of CSV files into a graph and upload that directly to DGraph. Thank you.